So the Lakers win the second pick. Yep. And it seems like everything is going the Lakers' way now. Well, uh, I think you and I were a little fickle on Luke Walton, but we're happy. Is that safe to say? Yeah. I mean, like, it's a brand new start in Lakerland, so why not? Right. And now that we have the second pick, which I think it's a little bit of a relief. To, yeah. to, that way you relinquish all the pressure on Philadelphia. Right, because a bunch of Laker fans, remember, like they're just saying, top three, we just need a top three pick, that's it. And number two is more than enough. Yeah, you know, I think with, with the third, it would have been brutal for me because then Brandon Ingram and Ben Simmons is gone, probably. Right. And then you're you're limited to like someone like Dragon Bender or, or whoever you choose right. to get at that point. Um, so between Ben Simmons and Brandon Ingram, who do you think the Philadelphia 76ers are going to get? Uh, considering that Ben Simmons doesn't want to be there, I mean, Brandon Ingram. But at the same time, if you're Brandon Ingram, do you even want to play for Philly? No, I don't think anyone wants to play for Philly. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? That's the luxury of being a number one pick. You play for the crappiest team. Right, and, and you sent me a video last year when Jalil Okafor just looked at his jersey and then dropped it, dropped on, the it floor, on the floor. Right? <laughs> so that's pretty bad, you know, in, in, in that case. And I can see the Sixers doing the same thing with Ben Simmons where it's like, all right, we drafted you. Like, we don't care if you wanted to go to the Lakers. But, okay, let's so let's put ourselves in the position of the of the Sixers. Okay. Who, who would you want? Can I start? Yeah. I, I, would, I would say the way that team is comprised, I would still take uh, Ben Simmons. Just because you're in the East, there's a little bit of more room to develop. Now, Brandon Ingram doesn't have a jump shot. Yeah. So, but I feel like with him training with Dennis Scott right now, um, t- sorry, we're talking about Ben Simmons. Uh, ben Simmons w- with uh, a jump shot, that would be pretty deadly because that's his only missing thing. Right. I mean, he averaged a double double at LSU. Right. And like he could have been player of the year had like his team done better. The, the other thing that worries me about him is the supposed rumors of him not having a hard work ethic. Well, I mean, there was a nepotism going on with LSU, like because the reason why he went was because a family member was coaching there. Sure. And even though, though they didn't make the NCAA tournament, like there was a whole like controversy of like now this guy lost his job. So, like, he just is fleeing the scene. Like, he, everyone knew he was going to be a one and done, but at the same time, for them to not have done it, and that ruined his, I want to say it was his uncle who's the coach, it just made LSU look even worse. But he doesn't care. He's going to be in the league. And, and, and that's a big issue between the difference between earning it, right? And right. then just it being given to you. Exactly. Um, I feel Brandon Ingram fits the Lakers' needs more. How so? Can shoot. Pretty polished. Play, likes to play defense. So he automatically he's a 3 and D guy. Okay? The ball handling skills that we have in Ben Simmons, that Ben Simmons has, you have that in D'Angelo. You have that in Jordan Clarkson. Right. Um, I think that fits more. But Ben Simmons can develop a jump shot eventually, and he could be like, you know, a lot of people like to compare him as like LeBron. I, I feel like it's more likely Lamar Odom on steroids. You know what I mean? Six right. tank and ball handle can eventually shoot. So if you were to say potentially like what's a player now in the league that you could see Brandon Ingram doing if he's like hitting that potential? It would be a combination of Tayshaun Prince. Likes to play defense long, can shoot to three. Um, and going really old school and showing my age Cliff Robinson 6'10 lanky can rebound can still shoot the three that's at minimum I feel at minimum I I feel like he he can develop like ball handling skills too though yeah so I I think Kevin Durant is a little much to be honest with you but I'll take a Tayshaun Prince meets Cliff Robinson 